testify on Capitol Hill over allegations the platform is toxic for young people. Chris Van Cleve reports. On the eve of a social media showdown with senators, Instagram says it will take a stricter approach to what it recommends to teens and encourage them to take a break after prolonged use. CEO Adam Masseri. And it's not only important to me that people feel safe on our platform, but that they feel good about the time that they spend on Instagram. The app, owned by Facebook parent Meta, is under the microscope out of concern over its impact on children. Moving forward, Instagram says it will point teens towards other topics if they appear to be dwelling on something. And will soon roll out controls allowing parents to monitor the time teens spend on Instagram and set limits. College student Lily Miller spends hours a day on social media apps like Instagram. You see what others are doing, what they're wearing, um, and you feel like, oh, I should be doing this, There's, or I'm missing out on something, or like they're living a completely different life. Why, why is it mine like that? So it's, it can be harmful. Leaked internal documents showed the app encourages prolonged use and can lead some teens to even contemplate suicide, something the company disputes. Not only do they know that their destructive content is driving kids down these rabbit holes to eating disorders and self-harm, even suicide, but they're profiting from it. Senators Richard Blumenthal and Marsha Blackburn will lead Wednesday's hearing. So what they're doing is a half measure, and they're doing it because they know that legislation is coming soon, and they are quite concerned about that. That coming legislation is expected to include privacy protections for children and teens and may also require some level of transparency from social media apps about how they determine what content users see. Instagram's CEO will be testifying for the first time and is expected to tell senators the company supports some new regulation. Elaine? Chris Van Cleve, thank you. Senior U.S. diplomats will boycott February's Winter Olympics in Beijing. The move is in protest of human rights abuses. American athletes will still participate. Elizabeth Palmer reports.